Hello everyone, welcome to another another Techspert episode on how to use this Creo software. So in this episode we're going to be covering how to use the Revolve feature in Creo, uh, Parametric 3.0. It's a very important feature, so before we get started, make sure you have Creo Parametric 3.0 installed. Uh, just simply hit New. Once you have it open, we'll be using the part, solid, and we won't use the default template. You can name this whatever you want. We'll just name this sum revolve. And we'll choose an empty template. We don't want to copy the associated drawings. And here you'll see a blank screen. There's not going to be any planes. So we're going to go ahead and enable that. We're going to click right here that says plane. And you'll see your datums 1, 2, and 3, or your x, y, and z planes pop up on the screen. Go ahead and click this in the model tree, click your object rather than a specific datum, and I'll go ahead and sp uh, specify what this means a little later. So what we need to do first is sketch an object that we'll, we're going to revolve around a certain axis. So first we're going to go to sketch, we're going to go ahead and select datums 1 and datums 3. Now these datums can be changed at uh, your discretion. Um, we're, th what this simply means is we're going to be drawing on one plane with a reference to another. So, we'll, for example, we can draw on the X plane with regards to the Z axis, which means that we'll be drawing the shape up and down on the X plane. So, we're going to go ahead and hit sketch. And for this one, let's mess with line chain first. And we're going to go ahead and just sketch an object that looks like this, kind of like half of a T. And then we'll hit the middle mouse button. Now you can change these dimensions to whatever you want later, but for right now this is just a video on how to use the extrude, I'm sorry, the revolve option on Creo. So we'll hit OK. Oh. And our object is now created. Creo adjusted the, the datum so the object fit closer to it. Not really a problem. So now we go and hit the revolve option under the model tab. So let's click that and we're going to first click the placement tab and it's really just a two-step procedure. Number one is select the sketch that you want to do. Since we only have one sketch in our in our model right now, it's detecting our first sketch, sketch one. And then the second step is to select the axis on which you want to revolve that shape. So you'll click this button right here, select one item, and then we'll go ahead and see, I'm gonna, I don't know if you can see that, but if we hover over one of the datum edges or one of the axes, you'll see it turn green. We're gonna go ahead and select that and that sketch is now revolved 360 degrees in Creo Parametric. So we sort of made a screw, a very, very bad screw, but this is the basics on how to use the revolve feature. Now to end the command, you can hit the check mark and you now have a very large spindle top, we'll call it a spindle top. From here, you can edit the screw for however you wish. But just a little another, you can exit the video now if that's all you needed to see. But let's go ahead and, and do a little bit more with the Revolve tool. So I'm going to go ahead and delete my Revolve. And we're going to go ahead and sketch. We're going to use the previous planes because it doesn't really matter for the, for the purposes of this specific video. So let's say what would have happened if I would have revolved, let's say, let's make this sort of a, a U shape. And an important thing to note is that in order to revolve an, an object, a sketch, it has to be a completely closed object, meaning that whenever you sketch it, if you're doing a line chain, you have to be able to see 
this yellow shaded area once you're done sketching it in Creo. If not, the revolve will not work. It will not uh, revolve an open object. So we're going to hit OK, say that that's done, and let's go ahead and revolve this. Again, go to placement, select one item, and we'll revolve this right here. And you see we've kind of created a spool. And what's cool is that, or what's useful I should say, is that Creo lets you see what your beginning shape was to begin with. So this was our our I guess our square that we started off with our initial sketch and then Creo filled in that sketch 300 and around the entire axis so it just spun it around so we can hit check and we're now done that revolve is now saved and you can honestly play with this tool as much as you like to get the hang of it again it's just two basic steps is number one is creating an appropriate sketch, a closed object sketch, and then number two is hitting the revolve tool to revolve it around an axis, whatever axis that you want, and that'll make an object. It's really useful in creating screws, um, flanges, it's really useful in creating an object that would be otherwise tedious to do uh, using simply the extrude tool. So the revolve tool lets you basically fill in the blanks by giving Creo uh, an initial sketch. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you if you did, please hit subscribe for more Creo basic tutorials.